Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a full body pregnancy stretch with the birth ball. These are some of my favorite stretches. Your body is going to feel amazing after, as well as it's excellent for birth preparation. It is safe for all trimesters. However, in pregnancy, we want to be careful that we don't overstretch. Because of the relaxing hormone, we can feel more flexible than usual, but ensure not to overstretch. Let's start lubricating our joints and opening up through our hip with some gentle hip circles. Let's go both ways. Good, we can set up tall on our ball and let's shift our hips to one side. Inhale up and over, really ballooning out through our side body, making room for baby under your ribs. Deep breath into your ribs. Exhale using your obliques. Come on up. Let's switch to the other side. Inhale up and over. Exhale. Coming up. Good. Let's take some pelvic tilt. Good, side to side. We can clasp our hands, rounding out, tucking our pelvis under ballooning out through your back. If it feels good to wiggle here, you can wiggle. Good. Let's clasp our hands or you can grab your elbows behind and then keeping your ribs pulled in, open up your chest. Good, release. Let's take some gentle neck circles, just circling halfway around. Bring our head back up. Let's stretch out through our inner thighs. We can sit a little bit forward on the ball, bring our feet out, place our hands just above our knees, and then stretch out here. If it feels good, you can drop one shoulder down. And then switching sides. If it feels good, moving back and forth. Come on up. Let's stretch out through our hamstrings. So finding your center on the ball. You can also hold onto a wall if that feels more stable for you. Let's flex one foot and then you can hinge at your hips and stretch out through the back of that leg. If it feels good, you can reach towards your toe or your leg. Lots of length in your spine still. You can also put slight pressure on the ground with your heel as if your heel is trying to move through your mat. Inhale, let's come up. We can switch to the other side. And finding a gentle stretch on this side.
Good, inhale, coming up. So we'll do figure four stretch. We'll work on our stretching out our piriformis. So again, if you wanted to be next to a wall for your balance, let's cross one leg over, making sure that top foot is flexed, sitting tall. And then we can hinge at the hips until you feel a gentle stretch here. You can deepen the stretch too if you place gentle pressure just above your knee there. Beautiful. Coming on up. Let's slowly switch to the other side. coming out we're gonna take an eagle stretch with our arms to stretch through our upper back so let's take our arms out to the side cross one over the other bend at the elbows and then reach for your thumb or your palm once you're here rolling your shoulders down your back lift your elbows up feeling that nice stretch If it feels good too, you can also just drop your head forward and then slightly round out, ballooning through your upper back, taking any movement that feels good. Let's switch to the other side. Other hand over. Once you're there, lifting your elbows gently up. Rounding out through your upper back here if it feels good. Releasing out. Good. So I'm going to come to the end of my mat. We're going to roll the ball out so we can release onto our back and then flop over our ball. So this feels really good to release through our back. Make sure that your ribs aren't splaying out here to protect your baby. And then we can just flop our arms out. Let's take an arm circle with one arm. So just releasing that arm up and around, finding any places of tension, stretching through your shoulder. Good, circling the other arm. releasing it out. Let's take a big inhale in and then we'll sigh out. <sighs> Letting any tension go. Relaxing your face, relaxing your pelvic floor. Good. If you're ready, let's come up, pulling your baby in, and then we can gently roll ourselves back up. Good. Let's stand up. We're going to bring the ball in front of us for a modified downward dog. This is also really great for sciatica. Let's roll the ball out in front. Lots of length in the spine, so slightly tucking your chin. 
And we can shift our hips back and forth here. Come on up, we can roll the ball in. Let's just take a quad stretch here so you can hold on to the ball or you can hold on to a wall. Reach for your ankle, knee reaches down. Releasing this side, we'll switch to the other side. Good, release. So we can either bring our ball in front or behind. We're gonna move in to yogi squat here, or if yogi squat doesn't feel good, you can also move in to butterfly pose. So bringing our feet just a little bit wider than hip width distance apart, lowering down. If your heels pop off, that's absolutely okay. And releasing our elbows towards our knee. We can release over the ball and relax here. Alternatively, you can have the ball behind you against a wall. And you can come into a yogi squat here. Resting here. Wherever you are, let's breathe. Relaxing through your pelvic floor, opening through your hips. Good. You can either stand up to come out or you can slowly just release yourself forward. Let's come in to do some gentle hip circles here. You can either be on all fours or you can grab the ball with one hand. Just taking any movement that feels good. Go in both directions. Good. Let's come on up. Let's grab a quick sip of water. Let's bring our ball back in front of us and we can use our ball to stretch out our triceps here. So bending your elbow, we can place it on top of the ball. If you want to come up on your knees a little bit, you can. And then we're going to press down just getting a nice stretch wherever feels good. Pulling your baby in. Good. Release. Let's switch to the other side. One more breath here. Slowly coming up. Let's take our ball out to the side. We're gonna stretch through the front of our shoulder and chest. So kind of coming to all fours. You can place your hand on top and then releasing your upper body towards the ground, gently stretching through the front of your shoulder. You can feel free to roll the ball here if that feels good. Gently coming up. Let's switch to the other side. Good. 
Rolling it in. Let's move to a child's pose over top of the ball. So we roll the ball out, extending through our spine, releasing both hands forward. Keeping your back strong, baby pulled in, not collapsing through your back. Extending your arms a little bit further. Good. Let's come up rolling our ball in. Let's take a lunge in front of us. So you can bring one leg out. Let's turn our front leg out. This is great for getting baby in a good position. And then let's just release forward and you can prop your chest up on your ball. Let's just relax here, releasing through our hips. starting to feel a little bit too intense. You can always roll your ball in a little bit coming out of the pose. We wanna make sure that we're not overstretching in pregnancy. Good. Let's press our weight into our front foot and we can come back up. Let's just flex that front foot and tilt our hips forward for a slight hamstring stretch. Just waking up the back of the leg and then we can bring it in, moving to the other side. Just as far as feels good for you. Steady breaths. Making sure you're breathing into your side and back ribs as well here. Let's take one more deep breath here. Release, pressing into your front foot. We can roll it in, flexing your front foot, hinging at the hips, gentle stretch here. Good. We can come up, bring that leg in. So let's come down into a seated position. We'll take a wide-legged forward fold and we can use the ball to prop ourselves up. So just as far as feels good for you, it doesn't matter how far apart your legs, you just want a gentle stretch here. And then you can bring the ball in, releasing forward wherever it feels good for you. Steady breaths. Relaxing through your pelvic floor. When you're ready, come on up. Let's stretch to one side so we can roll the ball to one side. Stretch up and over. And stretching to the other side. Exhale, using your obliques to bring yourself back up. Let's bring our feet in to butterfly. 
letting our knees flop out. And again, we can just gently release forward or you don't have to use the ball at all. Good. Come on up. Let's just move the ball to the side and we can windshield our knees back and forth. Good. And then we can come back to a comfortable seated position. I hope your body is feeling amazing after that pregnancy stretch class. I will keep adding pregnancy workouts, yoga, and Pilates to my pregnancy workout playlist. There's currently over 150 different workouts. I will link to that in the description box below. I also got really positive feedback on my video on how to push and breathe during labor. So if you're hoping to have a vaginal birth, the easiest birth possible, and reduce your risk of tearing, I'm going to link to that video right there.